And you've got to watch out for this, guys. They're gonna, the teachers are gonna test him on this. They're not gonna just simply use annual calculations. They're seriously gonna test you on monthly, quarterly, all that, that stuff from grade 10 and 11. So we're gonna look at it in the final example, and then we're gonna ask you to pause the DVD and have a bash at the activities. So let's, let's look at the next example. Okay, suppose that the depreciation rate in the previous example was 9% per annum calculated not annually but monthly <laughs> that is that is that's a really nasty question monthly what are we going to do we're going to divide the interest rate by 12, 12. multiply the n by 12 they're going to seriously ask these kind of questions and let's look at how we approach this question okay how long would it have taken for the car to depreciate to a value of 60,000 rand under these conditions. Just a comment on this. Okay, we've got the monthly interest rate. Once again, let's emphasize that, Anvela. We divide the interest by 12, and what do we do with the N? We multiply by 12. Very, very important. But also, you know with depreciation, unlike you know compounding, and you know what happens is you have a value of a car, and the car's value, you start off with 150,000 Rand or 200,000 Rand, What's gonna happen over time? The car's value goes down. That is depreciation. So clearly, if you, you know, when we deal with calculations like this, you've gotta be aware. With depreciation, your final amount is always gonna be smaller than what you started with. And the dreadful thing with this thing is, watch out for monthly compounding quarterly. So often students mess that up. And you know, they work with N and they forget what to do with you know the, the compounding periods if you have monthly what are you going to do divide by 12 and the n is we times by 12 what happens 12. with quarterly we divide by 4 and we multiply the n by 4 what what Mvela and, and I are saying now is critical to the section let's let's continue with the example and see how to approach this okay here's our example let's have a look at our formula very very important here is the interest rate as a decimal nine percent is divided by 12 monthly compounding right and then you've got the 12 multiplied by the n okay what do we get let's have a look right let's substitute in the values notice your present value is 150,000 your final amount that's the depreciated value is 60,000 um, work out the 0, 0, 9 over 12 what do we get 0, 0, 0, 0, 75 to the power of 12 n Okay, what happens? Well, 1 minus that number gives you 0, 0,9925 and let's continue, divide both sides by the 150,000 and we have a really nasty looking calculation. Um, 60,000 over 150,000 gives you 0, 0,4. What happens now? And Vela's mentioned this. What are we going to do in Vela? We take logs on both sides. Logs on both sides, correct. Here we go, and we use the law of logs that allows you to bring down the 12n. What next? Simple. Let's divide both sides by log of 0, 9925. Here we go. What's happening? If you work out this in your calculator, we get 1 to 1 comma, this dreadful decimal, and what happens is we divide both sides by the 12. And what does it give us? It gives us 10 years and two months nasty little calculation but if you go through the activities that we've got for you you're going to be seriously well prepared for any exam that the teachers ask you so don't forget don't forget your grade 10 formulas your 11 formulas and have a look at these these examples we're going to ask you to pause the dvd and have a bash at the next activity and then we'll see you in a short while good luck yeah Yeah, that was a very challenging lesson, but in the next lesson, we're going to look at the concept of annuities. Yes, very challenging, but exciting. Looking forward to seeing you next time, guys. Have a good one. Cheers. Bye. Summary. In this lesson, you learned to use logs to calculate the duration of loans or investments. <laughs>
Learning Channel offers an extensive educational collection ranging from grades 8 to 12 in alignment with the national curriculum statement. We offer DVD and workbook sets in a number of different subjects. To buy the Learning Channel series, check out our website on www.learn.co.za or call us on 011 639 0179.